it was London's summer like no other. While the host nation cleaned up in the medal tally, it's really the host city that can lay claim to gold. We're seeing phenomenal growth in the city at the moment. We're forecasting an additional million people coming into London over the next decade. Investors have poured more than six and a half billion dollars into the capital since the closing ceremony, creating more than 20,000 new jobs. And that figure is expected to triple in the next three years. Australians have played a huge part. Obviously, there's a, the very large Westfield investment, uh, 1.4 billion pounds of investment right next to the Olympic Park. We've now got Westfield in partnership with a British property company that's regenerating South London around Croydon. Companies such as Lendlease building out the new international quarter at Stratford but also companies coming over and setting up here from, from Adstream to Closed Loop, uh, companies such as Slater and Gordon, all taking advantage of the opportunities of the growth in the economy and bringing those businesses across to London. Australia is the sixth largest investor into London this financial year. Tourists too are flocking to the city, a record 3.4 million jetted in in the first three months of the year. What's attracting Australians to London? The weather's shocking, the coffee's bad and the sporting teams here are nowhere as good as ours. Why are Australians choosing to come to London? I, I think we've seen a, a rebirth in many ways since the Olympics. Remarkably, Australian visitor numbers dropped during the 2012 Games, but a year on we're returning in record numbers and we're cashing in on the high street. The strong Australian dollar has seen a splash of staggering $780 million. The Eurostar alone reporting a 37% increase in Australian passengers. Legacy was, was built into the DNA of the bids. They went out to Sydney, uh, they went out to Beijing, they learnt the lessons, both the good and the bad. One of the key lessons was after the, the, the phenomenal showcase of the Games, get straight back into the market. Give people a reason to come back and visit and see what they've, what they've seen on television. Scene set to be repeated when London's Olympic Park is reopened and renamed Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park during a week of celebrations to mark the anniversary. In London, Brett Mason, World News Australia.